happy saturday so little greenhouse update for you today uh very successful day got the water solar and power sorted out in the greenhouse stay tuned so this little wall was exposed um just the way the glass panels worked out so today i filled in uh, that was some old uh, cedar fence panels just cut them and kind of overlapped them like a shiplap style I had to get that done because I needed to set up the solar panel um, This is just a cheap we got it from Canadian Tire on sale Noma 100 watt camper style solar panel Before I invest any heavy money in this I got to test and see if proof of concept is gonna work so i um, pretty excited about the results on half of day one, but set it up right here. It's got a nice self exposure and then connected it up and you'll see inside. So what Vanessa has been doing is there's been a little hose coming in here connected to uh, the um, totes that are outside and just gravity feeding. We've been filling the watering cans and using that for all of our watering. Well, we finally accomplished the upgrade I was looking for today. <sighs> So, solar panel out there to a deep cell. Uh, this is just a, a, a low priced uh, lead acid deep cycle marine battery. So I can just prove that this is all going to work for me. Um, and then again, uh, again, I got it on sale. So I was pretty happy about the price. A 3000 watt uh, inverter. Uh, that is all wired into that and we've already tested it it runs uh, some of the fans in the in the greenhouse pretty well currently we're charging the battery uh, but it is also connected up directly to this little 12 volt rv marine pump and the cool thing about this is it is it has a on top a pressure switch so basically it's on demand i don't have to have it run all the time i don't have to use a switch or anything of that nature um all i need to do is let the pressure go which there will be a decrease here and so as soon as it pressured up that hose it shut off so you can literally take this out to the yard water the pump will run as soon as you let go the pump will stop running um and save the battery, uh, let it charge up some more, and also not gonna waste any water. So pretty excited on the convenience factor that that creates. It does mean I have to tighten up all the hose connections because that little drip there is gonna allow enough water to come out of this for this pump to engage again and just keep pressuring it up. So that's what this isolation valve is for. And now it won't do that anymore. So eventually this is going to be drip irrigation coming out of here through a timer um, that's going to feed most of the yard so we can be really efficient with the watering and get the most out of the water that we do have because water is a scarce commodity. And uh, pretty excited. Thanks for watching.